Hey students, welcome to the last student talk for the year. That's insane. For all of 2020, this is the last one. That's wild. All right, so uh, this is not uh, our typical student's talk. It's not going to be um, a really long thing. We just wanted to hit a couple quick details um, and get you guys back uh, to your Christmas celebrations. Uh, so we're going to start right off. Uh, we've been doing Christmas giveaways all month, and it's time to do the last one right now. Hey students, this is VoiceOver Roger here to do our last and final Christmas giveaway. So let's get to it. Let's spin and spin and spin and spin and stop. Hey, Wendy Griffith is our first winner. That means she is the second prize winner uh, getting that gift card. All right, and we are going to move on to our first prize winner now. Let's spin and spin and spin and stop. Luke Crusare. Hey, Luke is our grand prize winner uh, for this very last week, so he is going to get the grand prize. All right, back to the desk. Congratulations. Glad you guys won. That's uh, awesome. That's our last one of the year. We thank mm -hmm. you for participating, all, the one, all of you that have been watching our teaching videos and entering in and attending small groups, all of that during this season. Um, it's been been an interesting ride, hasn't it? <laughs> that it has, man. August August to now has been a whirlwind. Yes, a yeah. roller coaster. Exactly, exactly. So um, we wanted uh, to really briefly just to walk you guys back through um, what we learned this year, right? Because we we, we had four different series. We had a series uh, each month uh, for this whole thing, and and with that uh, we we get to look at really specifically into a lot of individual kind of areas, but we don't always get to look at how it all um, connects together. So we want to do that really quickly, um, and then, yeah, like I said, get, get everybody back to uh, their Christmas festivities. But, <laughs> um, so we started this semester in September uh, with Underrated. Yes. And so Underrated uh, was this opportunity for us to, to tell you guys, hey, if you don't know already, every once in a while, kind of, people assume uh, that because you are young, you know, you're not ready to be in like full-on ministry, you're in like some junior ministry, right? Yeah. Or that, or that you don't know what you're talking about. And Underrated came through to say, listen, if somebody thinks that, it just means they're wrong. It's not that you guys aren't, a bit, aren't able and, and don't have every opportunity uh, to be able to, be, to spread the word of Jesus uh, to your friends and to spread the gift this holiday season. Um, but really, it's, it's, hey, it was it meant to be a message of empowerment. Like, you have this chance. Go do it. Yep. And then we concluded that and then transitioned to this series in October called Jesus Is. And this was really an opportunity of, first we started talking about how your faith isn't underrated. And then we transitioned to just talking about this amazing person in Jesus who we follow. And we looked at several stories inside the New Testament of things that Jesus did that kind of walks us through who Jesus is as like a foundational place for your faith. It's a really cool thing that we did. So we started with saying, hey, your faith is underrated. Mm -hmm. People aren't going to take you seriously, but you should be taken seriously because of your faith in this guy, Jesus, who is all of these incredible things. Um, and, you know, if you've missed out on any of these and you want to watch some of it or rewatch it, we have it all still up on our channel. So mm -hmm. go back and watch it. Um, but that's, yeah, that was October, and then we went into November and talked about our lifelines. Series. Yeah, so coming out of that was lifelines, and it was, uh, we, we took this message of Jesus um, to then kind of give you, uh, give, give some legs to this idea of the way that we support the people around us, right? So, so in, in some cases, it's, hey, look, you've got amazing lifelines around you who are there to support you, but also at the same time, it was, hey, listen, we have this amazing ability to be lifelines, to be those godly friends um, to the people around us who are struggling. And in seasons like this, I mean, it's, it's, it's a time when people really are struggling um, in a new way. And so that Lifeline series was, was to empower you guys to say, like, listen, start looking at your friendships. Start looking at how you can be the best friend that you can be um, to help the people around you. And, and hopefully surround yourself with friends who will do the same for you. And then coming out of that was December. Yeah, and so we've been talking about unwrapping the Christmas story. And as part of that on the podcast, we've unwrapped some interesting uh, other Bible stories. Um, but it's always good around Christmas time to focus as a ministry on why we truly celebrate Christmas. Because if we don't, we will be distracted by Christmas movies, Christmas cookies, Christmas candy. You know, mm -hmm. um, it, that's just typical. We get busy and we just right. lose focus. So uh, this, we've been unwrapping the Christmas story and kind of going back through it, maybe looking at some different aspects of this Christmas story that maybe you haven't looked at 
before. Um, and so that's kind of been our semester. I think it's been a very strategic walkthrough of just like a, a semester to try to grow and establish your faith and help you just take another step in your walk towards uh, towards Jesus. And so we just want to thank you for being a part of this semester. We know that it's been a roller coaster up and down. You know, are we meeting in person? Are we not? Are we on, you know, and you guys have stuck with us and we thank you for that. We thank you for just participating and being a part of our ministry and a huge shout out to our leaders who are just Ne they never know what's going to come uh, each week or each month mm -hmm. based on you know what we have or are allowed right. to do with virus restrictions. But they've stuck with it. They've kept loving you guys. They've kept reaching out. And so um, if you've got a chance this Christmas season, maybe send your leader a little Merry Christmas note or a thank you or something like that. It would mean a lot to them who they do. They give up a ton of time because they love yeah. you um, and they love Jesus. So, so do that. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, and if, yeah, especially, I mean, if you're the kind of person who made it to this video and it's still... It's still plugging in. You right now are the, are the all stars of student ministry, yes. right? This is this has not been an easy season to stay plugged in, um, and it's always easier to not do something than it is to do something. Correct. But you guys have chosen in this season um, where the world around us is paused or the world around us is focusing focusing on uh, on themselves in a selfish way to self to focus on uh, making yourself you know kind of a better Christian and, and a better friend and a better uh, person to be around. So. Thank you for that. Thank you for all of uh, the ways that you've been plugged in uh, to student ministry in this crazy, crazy, crazy 2020. Um, and yeah, we're yeah we're praying that 2021 uh, looks completely different from this in all the best of ways, um, so that we can get back to seeing your smiling faces every week. And yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So have a merry Christmas. Yeah. Merry Christmas officially from uh, Lakeside students. And a happy new year. Yeah. And we will see you guys in January.